So what is up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. We're just on a commute today. You can hear the 250 in the background fired up. We're commuting on that. If you're wondering where this thing has been for the past, what, month? This is what's happening. It's been on charge now for a week. It's dead, completely dead. The data tool system has drained my battery. It's a lithium battery, 516 pounds for a battery. We're trying to rescue it. It's not happening. The Africa Twin's dead. But it's not the end of the world. The problem we've got at the moment is data tool blaming Honda. Honda are blaming data tool because data tool app should text me to tell me when the battery is low. I only left it for two weeks, which is the longest I've probably left it. Uh, but yeah, it's dead and it might cost me a lot of money. So that's in the garage, not going anywhere. The CL500 still looking good. Got some stuff coming for that tomorrow. And the Super Cub, although it's on the bench, is just where it parks. And as for the rest of the garage, ignore it. It's a total mess. I'm kind of rearranging and getting stuff done. I don't normally live like this. That's a lie. Now let's get on with the commute. A little bit floody. Let's see how it goes today. Yeah, the reason I'm on the 250 is it's been sat in a garage for, I don't know, probably about six months. It's been so long that I didn't have to change the clock for British summertime. It was still on British summertime from last year. I think it's pretty much how long since I've ridden it. I've had a few rides on it, but not a lot. Hey, nearly didn't see that part hole. That's a biggie. That'll punch you your tyres. Anyway, back to the 250. I rode it yesterday to work and back, and it was lovely. So today, I decided to do it again. And because it's been absolutely hacking down all night, there may be some floods on the way. Now, I'm not guaranteeing it. I'm just saying there may be. And this is the perfect bike for it. We've established this in the past, if you've watched my videos. This bike is pretty unstoppable in most things. The reason I don't use it as much in the commute is simply because of the tyres. I've got 90-10s, 80-20s, whatever the split are, but they're more off-road focused. They're Michelin trackers. So they wear out very quickly on the road, especially if it's dry, because they heat up and kind of disintegrate. But I've had this set on for well over a year. So that just goes to show how little I've used this bike. And I also wanted to bring this bike out and give it a little bit of a shakedown because I might be taking this to the ABR Festival at the end of June this year. As you've just seen, the Africa Twin is pretty dead. There's a little bit of a dispute going on at the moment. I will do a video on that to tell you what's going on about that. So I basically just wanted to give this bike a little bit of a shakedown. What I've realized is, I now remember how uncomfortable this seat is. So I might invest in a new seat if anyone out there has got one of these bikes or a similar kind of dual sport bike and you've got one of those seat concept seats, let me know, are they worth the money? Are they more comfortable? They claim to be. I think Hippodrome's got one on his Beta. I'm not sure, I'll have to ask, but I think he got it to lower it. I'm not sure if he got it to be more comfortable. But I never work with Hippodrome's, but in the meantime, if you guys have got one, got one of these bikes or have done anything to the 250 Rally to make the seat more comfortable, let me know. But at least it stopped hacking down with rain. That's a bonus. I've got to remember, these tyres are not the most grippy in the wet. <laughs> Even on a bloody horrible day, I enjoy my commute. It's nice living far enough away that you're within an hour of work but you're far enough out to get out of London and all the hustle and bustle and all the crap that goes with it all the 20 mile an hour speed limits being cut up by Ubers delivery little mopeds trying to smash into you every two minutes gotta watch out for sometimes the deers running out from the hedgerow when I say deers I don't mean old ladies I mean actual deer where I live opposite me is the woods Sometimes I get the deer grazing near my front garden. Now it makes it sound glorious and uh, kind of country estate-ish, but it's not. I've got a tiny front garden. That's not a euphemism. And yeah, sometimes they come out and have a little bit of a nibble. 
I came out one day and there was a stag just standing on my footpath. So I just sort of like went, you all right, mate? As you were, do what you need to do. Close the door and waited for it to go away. I've got to say, since the Africa Twin has been laid up, I've got more and more back into these little bikes. If you'd have seen my CL500 video the other day, I absolutely bloody love that thing. You know I love this thing, and you know I love the Super Cup. I forget how much I love these bikes until I get back on them. And I think to myself, mate, this is really all you need in the UK. <laughs> I am so lucky and blessed to be living in this country. And these roads are so terrible. But this 250 just comes alive and it's absolutely brilliant. Even on these knobby tyres. In the wet. It's fantastic. I've got the mirror advisor on. That's now steaming up. I got all excited the other day. Put this on. Thought I'm not going to need a pin lock anymore. Oh, I was so wrong. Can you believe it? This is my commute. <laughs> I've been living there two and a half years and it still makes me smile. There are various different routes I can take to work and back. So depending on my mood and how much time I've got, I can enjoy myself. It's a little bit floody. Not all of that is a river. Yeah, a little bit floody. All good fun. Nice brick wall for your brick wall fans. This is Betchworth. If you ever want to come and see a brick wall, <laughs> here you go. Got some lovely ones, some lovely examples. A bit modern. We'll scrub that one. I think that puddle filled up my boots. I think it went up my trouser leg and then down inside my boot. Brick wall on a brick wall. Old school brick wall, a little bit of rendering. Oh, you get it all on this channel. I'll also probably have to change the brake pads, front and rear, before I go to the ABR. And possibly the chain. When I got it serviced and MOT'd last year, they said the chain was a little bit tight, as in the links were a bit sticky. Which was kind of annoying because I've only done 300 miles on this chain since I bought it. But because I rode it off-road, never cleaned the chain and let it go to ruin basically, it tightened up a bit. Now I've taken it off, I've soaked it, and hopefully we can rescue it. So if it's freed up, I won't have to. But if I need to do it, I will. Because it's my own fault. It's my own neglect of you, you little 250. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean it. I really didn't mean it. I've got a new rack coming from Adventure Spec that's going to go on the back. I've got a Rimtech on the back at the moment, which is handy for pulling it out of the dirt because it's got kind of grab handles on. But I wanted something a little bit more sleek, a little bit smaller. Oh, you f oh, So close. I could have made that. But trust me, you don't risk it when it comes to the trains because if you get hit by one, it hurts. A lot. A few hours later. Anyway, where was I? So if I do take this to the ABR, I'm going to have to take the small tent, which is a bit of a bummer. Because I don't like camping at the best of times. Small tent, single mattress, not my kind of thing. Hotel with a bathroom, that's what I bloody well like. I spent a lot of money paying for a house with a roof over my head, with gas and electricity and bathrooms. So to leave that, to sleep in a carrier bag in a field, is not my idea of fun. But, I don't have a lot of choice, so we're going to have to grin and bear it. Right, so that's about it for this one, I guess. We're coming into the boring bit, which is traffic. No one needs to see that. Don't forget, 14th of April is the motor vlogger, Instagram, a TikToker, Facebooker, uh, what else is there? Exa, 
which is also Twitterer. Twitterer T, Twitterer. It's the motorcycle meetup, basically. It's 14th of April. We're starting down at Conqueror's Apparel at Route 10 and 66 Cafe. I'm trying to get there for 10 o'clock. We'll leave for 11-ish, then head up to Rikers in Box Hill for about half 12 or 1 o'clock. That's the aim. I haven't planned a route. Well, I tried to plan a route. I did it two times. There was floods, road closures, and I just figured, do you know what? It's going to change on the day, and it uh, depends what bike I take, what the weather's like, what mood I'm in, which route I'm going to take. So, we're going to wing it. We're going to do it on the day. I'll either do it Waze Motorcycle Function, Cali Moto, which is a bit more twisty and B-roady, or maybe Tom Tom Go. Who knows? We're just going to follow the sat nav, see where we end up. But we're all going to end up at Rikers, hopefully. You can come to either, or you can come to both. Everybody is welcome. It's just a chilled out, drink coffee, talk rubbish, kick tyres, hang out. You might make some new friends, make some new WhatsApp groups. Go out, make your own little kind of, yeah, things. And then you can go out riding with your mates. And uh, basically, let's all be friends. That's what I'm trying to say. Let's all be friends. Get on now, have a good time. And hopefully see you on the 14th of April. So that just leaves me to say, don't forget to subscribe, to like, to share, to do all those things that you need to do. Also hit that notification bell so you guys can get the drop on these videos. If you want to leave a comment, leave that downstairs in the comment section. So for myself and the two Finny on the morning commute, I bid you farewell. You know I love you all. Stay safe. Fish out. Get all your bags. Get out my house. I don't want your stuff around. I never did you wrong, but you did me wrong. So go ahead, get, go, gone. get gone. Get all your bags. Get out my house. I don't want your stuff around. I never did you wrong, but you did me wrong. So go ahead and get gone.